In addition to studies with tame ravens, research with birds in the wild is gaining in importance. A group of around 100 non-breeding ravens lives near the research center and wildlife park. They play practical jokes with other animals, for example eagles or ducks, and repeatedly show off their skills as flying acrobats. In such non-breeding communities, social behavior in the group can be observed particularly well. Breeding pairs, in contrast, are preoccupied with themselves and rearing their young. Ravens have gigantic territories if they can find one and live for 30 or 40 years. This means that a territory is occupied for a very long time once a breeding pair has claimed it. In Central Europe, most territories are currently occupied. But even if this were not the case, we are getting ever larger flocks with young birds of up to 10 years old. We saw in the game park today that 10-year-old ravens are part of the non-breeding group. They would also be ready for a mate, but there is no territory for them, so they remain in a non-breeding group where they do their day's work. Each group contains 100 individuals on average. For this reason, Anna Brown has taken on the task of feeding the wild boars, bears and wolves in the animal park every morning at seven. It's a windfall for the ravens, but also a constant challenge. The wild boars and their companions make the ravens fight for every mouthful.